Well, you guys got another video here for you. Big change coming to Windows 11 start menu. Microsoft are working on a brand new start menu and this is it right here. I mean, is it me or is it big? It's absolutely massive. <laughs> I don't know what they're thinking about when they're designing this sort of stuff. You've got the category section down the bottom here, which you can add more categories. Uh, you can't resize it as far as I can see the actual menu. So it is quite a large menu, uh, but you can go into these categories and add in some more items into here as well. And also you can pin these to the actual top of the start menu here as well. So the category part is this bit here. As you can see, you can add more stuff into these categories to organize it the way you want to do. But let me know in the comments section down below whether you think someone at Microsoft has actually lost the plot when designing this because it looks absolutely hideous. I must be the only YouTuber that's actually thinking this looks hideous because it does, in my opinion. But we'll go through and take a look at it in more detail here. But again, drop a comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are on this monstrosity. But So we got the category section. Uh, right here I'll just go through and show you some of these but I'm pinning some of these to the start menu just so you can see that when I close the browser down and open it back up it will add them up the top here you can show all or show just a few if you want to so to show all or show a few or show less you just use this rocker button up the top here but you can see if we're showing all of these it's going to add in all of the ones that I just added to the actual start menu. And then you'll have a scroll down for your categories. The recommended is still there as well. So as you open up documents and things like that, they're also going to be added to this menu as if it's not confusing enough already. But again, you can also remove the recommended right now. You can't uninstall it completely, but you can also put this into your more sort of named list if you wanted to have it like that or named grid if you wanted to set it up like that that's how that's going to look i think they're rolling this out for 23 h2 and 24 h2 as well so that will be coming very soon to those people that are on those versions or builds for windows now let's go into the actual start menu in the personalization section and you can see here we can turn these rocker buttons on so i'm just going to turn all of these on here so you can see what it actually looks like as well. But in my honest opinion, I think Microsoft need to hire someone from Start 11 or someone like that because they can actually do a much better job at organizing a start menu, which actually looks really nice and it's really functional compared to what Microsoft are doing with this thing right here. So let me just go ahead and add a couple of these little things here. If you haven't added this end task here, that's where you can add that in inside developers. It's really useful. And that's one of the ones I would definitely add on. So let me go inside here again. And I'll just quickly show you right here the recommended section. I'll add something in here so you can get a general idea of what that actually looks like. So I'll add a, a document in. So the more documents you start opening and uh, using and programs, that will all go into that recommended section right there. So I'll quickly make a text document right here and save this to say for instance uh, the documents section just so you can see but you can turn it off now but I want to show you if you don't turn it off it's going to get even more cluttered than it was before so it's not there right yet let me just quickly refresh and populate and it should look something like this once I've refreshed it so there we go we've got a few more in there so it's even more cluttered now with documents you're opening now you can imagine as time goes on when you're using this as a daily functional pc you're going to be basically opening stuff and creating stuff and it's going to be added in here and it's just going to be a massive big scroll bar going down with categories and also pinned apps as well so if we go into the taskbar section right here you can see there is going to be some other changes in here where you'll be able to reduce the icon size as well it doesn't actually change the taskbar, it just reduces the icon size. That's also coming in an update as well. If you want to toggle off the recommended, you can do now. You can see here, show all pinned by default. And there's also show recently added apps as well. You would need to turn that off. 
And you can see show most used apps. You could turn that off there and show recently opened items in the start jump list and in File Explorer as well. And when you do that, you can see it just uh, cleans it up a little bit and takes that re recommended section off. So that is a plus side to that. But already I can see there's just a bundle of icons on there. And I can't understand why you would have them all in categories and then also have them pinned up the top. I just don't understand that really in all my honesty. But let's have a look at uh, adding some more icons to this start menu if you wanted to down the bottom, which would make it even more pointless and confusing in my honest opinion. But before I do that, let's have a quick look at the announcement for Windows Insider Preview Build 22.635. 0.5170 that's the build I've got here so there is other builds that they're releasing they're looking into as well you can see here 24h2 will be the one that's having this as well as 23h2 and uh, again they have done some major fixes on file explorer there's been some bugs that they fixed and there's a whole list of stuff that they've done I'll leave a link for this document in the video description so you can read this at your own leisure so this is the original start menu that you've got right here and again, as you can see, uh, I didn't like this sort of design either. And you couldn't really do much with the recommended. And it just looked like a load of free space and as if they put something together and basically released it on Windows 11. And they've not done anything with it since until the build I've just been showing you. Now, this version right here means that they were working on using this particular size, uh, you know, start menu with the categories on it which I think was probably okay because it made it a little bit more tidier. But then someone with some sort of brain fart started to come up with something like this, which is an absolute monstrosity. And when you toggle on all of this sort of stuff right here and literally turn these all on, it's going to add a bunch more icons down the bottom, which are useful but how many icons do you want on a start menu? I mean, it just looks so busy and so cluttered. I don't understand how someone could get this passed through the final phase and say this is the final uh, menu because it looks absolutely ridiculous in my opinion. And it's not even the full size because as soon as you plug in your phone, it will add in another tab on the side of that, which will make it even bigger and virtually fill the whole screen. So in my honest opinion... It's rubbish and I don't like it at all. But let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. I'll be interested to read your comments. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to all my YouTube members, whether you're tier one, tier two or tier three. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the next video or I'll catch you on the Discord server. The link is in the video description. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.